Here is a breakdown of what happened. For this later elementary school project, Fresno Unified School District enlisted the services of Davis Moreno Construction Incorporated. Subsequently, Davis Moreno's company engaged multiple subcontractors, among them Jim Garcia. Garcia, in turn, contracted more than 20 carpenters. Tensions escalated after workers faced a period of several weeks without pay. Word on the delayed payments reached Davis Moreno, prompting the company to dispatch its superintendent, John Wiggins, to speak with the workers. He gave his word to the workers that they would get paid and began to issue unofficial checks to persuade them to continue their work on the project. Aquí traigo la foto del cheque que me dieron, pero supuestamente me dieron ese esa, el dinero que era lo que me debía, pero no pues no es lo de una semana. Yo como iba a estar de acuerdo, lo más que eso fue lo que ellos desapareció que que era lo que me debía y no fue así. The Carpenters Union became aware of the situation and reported it to the Labor Commissioner for the State of California. The Labor Commissioner sent a notice of investigation to Jim Garcia and Davis Moreno. A copy of the notice was sent to the Fresno Unified School District. This notice was sent to Jim Garcia and Davis Moreno on September 26, 2018 for their violation of the public works laws, namely California Labor Code Division 2, Part 7. The construction of Slater Elementary School was considered a public works job under California Labor Code, under Section 1774, which includes construction work under contract paid for in whole or in part out of public funds. In an email sent in November of 2018, Davis Moreno Construction Company contacted Fresno Unified School District acknowledging that dozens of workers were left unpaid. The Fresno Unified School District provided Davis Moreno with the signing sheet of the carpenters who went to the district on November 19, 2018. 16 out of the 22 workers who had not been paid were in attendance. Con Jim Garcia nos comunicamos, pero él dijo, no, no me está pagando la compañía, yo no les puedo pagar, ya no tengo dinero, estoy quebrado. Si quieren seguir trabajando, espérenme a que me paguen a mí, David Moreno, y yo les voy a pagar. Pero no le, ya no, no nos daba confianza, y fue cuando decidimos hablar con el superintendente, que nos aseguró que nos iba a pagar David Moreno. Y finalmente, pues hasta el día de hoy no nos ha pagado. Y él sigue haciendo obra, obras públicas, sigue trabajando con si nada hubiese pasado. Eso le da a uno coraje. Dice, ¿cómo este señor o cómo esta compañía sigue trabajando? Como que si nada hubiera hecho, no nos pagó a más de 20 personas. Y ellos ahí siguen. ¿Tiene licencia para robar o qué? Se cuestiona uno, se hace uno esa pregunta. 